Hello. Today, as you can see from the title, I dyed my hair. You can't really see it from here. Hold on. Okay, this. I know this isn't the best lighting, but look, you can see the hair. I dyed my hair purple. I've actually been wanting to do this for a few months. So a few days ago, we went to the store. We got the bleach, we got the hair dye, and we came back home, and my mom was like, do you want to do it right now? So I said, yeah, and she started bleaching it. Okay, so we are bleaching my hair right now. It looks kind of weird. I can hear it making noises from my hair. This isn't my first time bleaching my hair, but it is my first time bleaching all of it. And my mom has been making jokes about all my hair falling off, and I'm concerned. So I'm really hoping that all my hair doesn't fall off. And while we were waiting for it to bleach, she put a plastic bag on my head so that it could go faster because of the heat. Ahí está caliente. I'm still not completely used to it. Okay. And after that, I rinsed it off. And when we took off the towel, after I rinsed off the bleach, my hair, it looked... It looked yellow. My hair was wet. So like at the moment, it actually looked pretty nice. The last time I bleached my hair, it came out like a weird yellow color. Ooh, it looks weird. And then I blow dried it. And I couldn't even put the brush through my hair. It hurt. I can't even run my fingers through my hair. It felt so damaged and it was so puffy. My hair looked like a lion's mane. So then after that, I blow dried it. I brushed it out as much as I could. And my mom started putting the hair dye on it. We waited again for like 40 minutes, I think. Both of the times while I was waiting for the bleach and the hair dye, I was doing homework, eating cocktail and watching Rebelde. After the timer went off, I went to take a shower. So I got this shampoo at the store that is supposed to make the color in your hair last longer. And while I was taking a shower, I put it on my hand. It was a deep purple color. It smelled really good. It smelled like chicle. It smelled like bubble gum. And I started putting it in my hair. I put my hands in front of my face and my hands were purple. I tried rinsing it off and it didn't come off. So my hands were purple for a little bit after my shower. After I came out of the shower, my hair was wet and I didn't want to blow dry it again because I didn't want to deal with what I dealed with after my hair was bleached. So I went to sleep. The night I dyed my hair was a Thursday night, so I still had school the next day. At this point, I had not I had only told a few people that I was planning to dye my hair, but nobody knew that I was doing it that night. So I took advantage of that. I went to school and I filmed some of my friends' reactions to my hair. Do you notice anything different? Me asustaste. Fuck. Yeah. Sisa, mira? Yeah, dude. Do you like it? I guess. You owe me $5. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> That was my reaction. <laughs> I jumped up. I got scared. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yesterday. It looks pretty. Thank you. What do you think? Can you guys vote on that? It looks pretty that? on you though. Thank right you. Now, what are your thoughts? Right now, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I was like, did right you actually like dye it? I mean, I guess that's really it. That I just wanted to take you guys on this journey of me dyeing my hair. I have dyed my hair before, like from this down. In fifth grade, my mom dyed my hair. It was supposed to be purple, but then it faded to pink, and then to like this weird cotton candy orange pink color. And then the summer before sixth grade, she dyed it again blue, and it faded to green. And by the time I started sixth grade, it had faded to blonde. So this is the first time of me actually dyeing all of it, but I'm really happy with how it came out. I don't think it came out bad. Alright then, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day or a good night and goodbye. <laughs>